Hi everyone, my name is Meher, I'm from Vancouver, BC. For those of you joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel. My goal is to introduce you to tips that will help you in your job search by interviewing experts in the industry. By the end of each interview, you will be filled with knowledge that will help you elevate your job search game. If you're watching for the first time, don't forget to subscribe so that you're always aware when I'm posting new videos. So let's start with today's interview. Hi everyone, welcome back to my interview series. Today I'll be interviewing Tim Saket. He's the top global HR influencer, recruiting executive, author, world foremost expert on workplace. Welcome Tim. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to interview Tim today for you. So hi Tim, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing great. It's a great day here in Vancouver. How are things at your end? Well, you know, late, uh, late spring here in Michigan. So we had some snow last night in April, oh. which is kind of crazy, but it's yeah. already melted and you know, that's just life. That's that life. We also had some, yesterday we had Vancouver sunlight and there was a little bit of hail for 15 minutes. So everyone was wet while they were running, but <laughs> now it's a new day and I'm very excited to ask you a few questions if it's okay with you. That'd be great. All right, so my first question is, in terms of your personal journey, if you can tell us more about you, what do you do, and if you had any obstacles uh, while you're in your journey, and how do you face them? Yeah, so um, I started out, I uh, went to college out in the uh, western U.S. at the University of Wyoming. My mother actually started the company that I run right now, and so um, I came right out of college, came to work for her. Um, she, it was a recruiting company, uh, staffing mm -hmm. third party worked there about eight or nine years. Um, and then she fired me. So, I mean, I got to the point where I was like, you know, cocky and young and good and making yeah. all this money. And I'm like, you're old. It's time for you to move <laughs> out. And she said, no, um, you need to move out. I'm not old enough. And, uh, so she, she did actually, um, let me go, which in hindsight was probably the best thing that yeah. ever could have happened, right? Because, it actually allowed me to go on the corporate side of HR, the corporate side of talent acquisition and move my way up into my career um, for about a decade, maybe a little bit more. And then she actually, I get a call one day that she had um, had a health issue. Um, you know, and once we found out that, you know, she was okay, she basically had come to me and said, okay, I'm going to leave the company. Do you want to come in and run it? So I've been doing that the last 10 years, but without that experience, mm -hmm. like I thought I was ready, you know, cause I was just young and cocky. Yeah. But the reality was, is that experience that got me on the other side of the desk made me such a better leader, made me just understand the industry so much better. Um, and I think at that point when I came back, I was really a different person. I was able, you know, to kind of run the company like I have the last 10 years. So, so yeah. So, I mean, that was a huge obstacle because that, you know, when that happens, you go, Oh God, I'm never going to go back and work for my mom and you know and yeah. all of that so it ended up working out and probably you know was one of the best things that ever happened in terms of my career that you just never plan on you know yeah especially sometimes when you have those moments of, oh my god what can i do if my mom doesn't like me who's going to like me right <laughs> <laughs> that uh, yeah we learn from those uh, 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 mistakes or from those experiences and later on we say, oh, that was a good thing. But at that moment, maybe we don't identify it as a good thing. But later on, no. it's a good yeah. Thing. Well, I think what she saw was you can't lead pe people to, with the personality you have right now. Like you have to become so much more humble. And I think with the corporate um, side of HR, the corporate side of talent acquisition really taught me was more of how political those environments were. Yeah. Um, and having to manage your way through those environments when I came back you know, you, you just really, you know, looked at everything in a completely different way um, that I just, you know, when you're young and you're working for your mom, like you just don't ever think about that. You're just like, nope, I'm a bull in a China shop and I'm just going to run through everybody and it doesn't matter, you know, in, in life you just can't do that. So what kind of a leader are you? Um, very, I'm, I'm a, I'm high, um, high details, low rules. So I mean, I'm very concerned with the details of what goes on, how it gets done, I'm not that concerned, right? Um, for me, I'm a metrics-driven kind of leader. So I set those up. And as long as the metrics are there, how we get there, for the most part, I'm kind of hands-off. So I let my people do their job. I'm not a micromanager by any means. 
but um, but I do definitely want the details of kind of what's going on and how how are things going, how's it happening from that standpoint. Um, and so I think you know that that is you know helpful. I'm also just a geek for technology, mm-hmm. so I'm always concerned about our tech stack. I'm always concerned about what we're doing, how we're staying. Because for me, running a third party staffing organization, I truly think the only differentiator we have is that we find the talent faster than somebody else, right? I mean, at this point, we all can kind of find talent, at least if you're good or not. Like, I mean, we train our people pretty well. So then it becomes a real speed factor of how, how can we do this, you know, most efficiently? How can we get more capacity? How can we do that pretty, you know, faster? And I just, so I love going out and tinkering with the stack and really looking at all the stuff that's out there. Yeah. Thank you, Tim, for sharing your knowledge and your experiences with us. And for the audience listening or watching, if you have any obstacles or anything that you learned from your careers, please share it in the comment section. We'd like to hear from you. And tune in tomorrow for another question with Tim.